Hey everyone, um, I decided to make this video because there wasn't really a lot of people making videos about upgrading their Mac with uh, with RAM, especially the new iMacs uh, 2008 models. Uh, they're pretty much the same as the old ones, but um, I uh, ordered my RAM from MacSales.com. Uh, I got 4 gigs and I'm upgrading from 1 gig. I have the 2.4 processor. And uh, yeah, so the next step was what you want to do is uh, definitely shut down your computer. Um, go ahead, just hit OK, shut it down. Sorry about the blurriness of the camera. All right, now obviously go ahead and just unplug your computer. And obviously the keyboard too. Uh, if you've done it right, your mouse is connected through your keyboard. And you don't need to unplug that, just leave it. Alright, now here's my iMac. Uh, right now it's face up. Um, I covered it in a protective screen there. It came with my iMac. I don't know if you kept yours, but um, I usually keep everything that comes with my computer. Um, that's great, it doesn't scratch the screen. But what we want to do is flip it over. So go ahead and take your iMac and just flip it over uh, face down. And now that your iMac is face down, uh, you can go ahead and uh, and see where the RAM slot is going to be. That screw right there, that's exactly uh, what we're going to be taking out to upgrade to the 4 gigs of RAM. And also, a uh, side note, if that uh, stand is in your way, go ahead and lift it right up. There's pressure in it, it'll stand right up by itself. And again, uh, that's the RAM slot and that's where uh, the screw is we're going to be taking out. Now when you unscrew that counterclockwise only a few times, that thing's just going to pop right out. The screw stays in. Um, no problem. And there's the RAM slots right there. One on the left and one on the right. I know it's hard to see. Uh, sorry about the blurriness of my video. I apologize. But there's a screw hole and then the two RAM slots. All right, now what you're going to want to do is, uh, there's a little ribbon there. It's harmless. Just pull it right out with your finger. That's all you need to do with that. And uh, as you can see, now just pull pull on that right there. As you can see, pull and it'll pull the rim out. Now you need a little bit of pressure. I had to do it a little bit extra hard, but um, probably about three or four pounds of pressure, but equal pressure. I did use two hands, which I did not show in the video. Uh, but don't worry, you're not going to do any harm to your iMac. Just go ahead and uh, just pull that right out using the ribbon, of course. And now it'll pop it out of place, and then you manually pull the RAM the rest of the way out of its place. Once the ribbon pops it out, you manually pull it out. And go ahead and put that RAM to the side for, for future use or for a friend's computer if they need to upgrade if their uh, computer supports that RAM and go ahead and pull the other ribbon out now and again you pull it it'll pop the RAM out of place now this is our new RAM we do not want to put the RAM in sticker side up the tab should be on the left there should be pointing to the left and the sticker should be face down now all you do is put the RAM in and push it in to secure it now in this picture here, in this uh, right here, I already inserted the RAM into the computer. It's very easy and simple, but you need to put extra pressure. You need to push it pretty hard. I use two thumbs to actually insert the RAM. Now here's the uh, second piece of RAM. I'm going ahead and I push it in slightly. Now see, that's not all the way in there. You push it in slightly and you want to take two thumbs and push it in hard and you'll feel it connect there's a there's a quite a bit of resistance and you'll feel it but it'll, you'll also feel it slide in once it's slid in push it in extra and make sure it's all the way in and of course the ribbons you're going to want to replace those ribbons back into the normal positions that only takes a second and go ahead and do it on the other side. And as far as upgrading your RAM, you're done besides replacing the plate. And of course, there's the plate and you put it on and screw it back in and make sure both of the sides are in flush. 
and go ahead start your Mac up and hit about this Mac and you can see it says four gigabytes uh, of upgraded memory I've noticed a huge difference and I'm really happy uh, with actually getting the four gigs